So what's happening on YouTube? Here we go, back again. Um, pleased to say that the last episode has been recorded. All work and no play, are you, Henry? All right. Let's see what makes you tick. And I am very, very happy about that. So hopefully I can start getting these episodes out. No way across. Guess I'll just make my own. Hello. New powers getting unlocked here. Excellent. We like that. Fuck. I'm not alone in here. And... More big baddies. Excellent. Can't wait. Fantastic. That's sarcasm for those that can't detect that. Hi! You look nice. I do this for you guys. I do. That's it, take your time Thomas, take your time. We've got all day. All day. Don't you worry my friend. This guy's mind's filled with red filing cabinets. I mean... It is, actually. I was gonna... I was gonna go how... How, how much more do we need the, the whole communism thing driven into our faces, but if it's integral to the story, you know, what can you do? There you are. At least the part of you I'm after. It wants their childhood. Likely disturbing. Uh, there's nothing else to interact with here. Okie duck. Movies! Yay! An interrogation room. I mean, we all know that this is going to be dreadful, don't we? Jacob Wilt Butcher. Investigator Henry Wilt, well, Senior Const Constable. Oh, hang on a minute here. Okay. So Henry's the name of the guy that was doing all the investigating and eventually burnt the house down. But he's investigating what? Who's Jacob Wilt? Oh, so many questions. Do you know why you're here? I'm not playing your games, Henry. <laughs> Don't call me that. The agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Where would they get that idea, I wonder? <laughs> you've been a very bad boy. 
Let's just get this over with. Given your line of work, you had ample opportunity to commit your crime. It is a crime against the people. Punishable by death. Anything to say in your defense? I'm sorry, Henry. <laughs> Okay, so he interrogated a member of his own family. And Henry might be off the deep end. Probably in the abyss. So far off the edge that he doesn't even know where the edge starts. Okay, here we go again. Oh, this, this feels like a chase sequence. Feels like it's going to become a chase sequence. Fantastic, just what I wanted to hear. Amazing. If only Thomas could run faster. Well, doesn't that look adorable? It looks like the dog that everyone wants. It looks like the last one in the pound that's got the gimpy leg and the squint eyes. Fantastic. Again, sarcasm. Oh dear. Shit! Hey boy, I have a bone for you. Another fetch. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything like that, for example, see. Ration stamps issued by the government of the Polish People's Republic. Is that what his brother was nicking from everyone? We can, but hope. Source. Oh. Come here! Uh, don't you hide from me! Okay, so. But Thomas isn't one for hiding because he's not doing any of the crouching stuff here. Last place you'd think of looking. Your wife's bed. I'm all joking, I'm joking. Come here! Nah, I'd rather not if you don't mind. I know you're here. No, no, you don't know me. You're not very so bad boy. Abba, though. Uh, uh, do you say that, but... But we both know I've not been that bad. You should always push the buttons. Of course you should. Run, 
you know nothing bad ever happens in slaughterhouses, right? Ever. She's starting to get a balance beam. Oh, oh, oh. Air fault. Very good. Very well done. Knife! I was betting on it being the car. background is brilliant because it shows how much this was drilled into by whoever abused them. Where are you, boy? You will never know. Thomas, you're a big guy. By the time I'm finished the sequence, I'm going to be able to recite that back in front. was genuinely like nails on a chalkboard for me. Identity card. So we know what it looks like now. We've not seen his face up until now. Ministry of Internal Affairs, agent of the security service. Ah, oh, pretty badge. Okay, so that was his dad. Um, one way to get revenge against your abuser. You want me to feel sorry for you, Henry? Let's see how that works out. It didn't work for. Uh, it didn't work for Richard. 
this this side of Henry has eh, sorry this side of Thomas has no sympathy for anyone. Recognising this cup here, that's the cups that Marianne's drinking out in the first cut scene right at the beginning of the game. It all starts with the girl. Um, that's the thing there. Another real tape. Vilk, is it? Henry Vilk? What's this about? <laughs> Straight to the point. No fear, no hesitation. If you wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. So? What do you want? I want to offer you a job. I'm listening. I've been doing this a long time. I've come to know people. See what makes them tick. See their... potential. Agreed. On one condition. Huh? The work I do for you... It stays at work. That's the way we like it. It has to. If it doesn't, I'm holding you accountable. Welcome to the family. So many layers. This is like peeling apart an onion. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm enjoying this game. When, when this finishes, finishes I'm going to be so disappointed. Well, not because I'll be moving on to the next thing that I play, but really good games. I, I, I have a dreadful habit of not finishing really good games because I don't want them to end. It took me beyond the lifespan of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. In fact, I think Valhalla had been out for a year before I eventually, finally played Assassin's Creed Odyssey right through and planned it. Um, just because I didn't want to finish my adventures. I still haven't played the DLC. Um, that's one thing that this YouTube channel is going to force me to do, is actually finish games. But I think everyone knows if you've been watching this series from the start, I am having fun with this game. They were also really good games. Um, I didn't complete Second Sight, but I did complete Psyops. Um, both really good games, both completely different takes on that kind of genre. But unusual to see that kind of game as well. I'm sure Second Sight was... Uh, Second Sight was the same guys that had made Time Splitters, I'm sure. I know PsyOps was Midway, which is the Mortal Kombat guys. <sighs> this is a completely darker take on that kind of genre of game though. I'm guessing subtlety. It's not one of Thomas' strong points. Have you ever heard of Neva? an investigation after Thomas reported what happened to Richard, or his version of what happened to Richard. They found him lying on his bathroom floor and 
He was unresponsive. He became a person of interest after that. Yes. Okay, so they weren't they weren't daft. They knew that Thomas had some kind of ability. That definitely builds some tension, by the way, I can finally assure you that builds some tension. Fuck. No, no, I want to read my notes. Doctor Classified. Hmm. That's a great name. That's a great name for a spy. My name is Doctor Classified. Don't know why I'm Batman. So, skin to skin contact with Thomas allows him inside their mind. And like this alter Thomas has said at the beginning of this red sequence, that allows him in and time flows differently. So while he's inside there, it's the same as, what does it say about, um, a thought, like, what you think might be a long thought or a daydream or, or even a dream doesn't actually take that long because the process of the, the neurons firing in your brain is so quick that very little time passes. Um, and I think that's what's happening here. People seem to touch him and then fall into this vegetative state and that's not the case at all. Um, there's a long sequence inside their head where he literally tortures them. But it needs skin to skin contact. Hence why it didn't work when the guy was choking him earlier with the... Um, with the... Like his arm around his neck and punching him with those gloves on as well. And I think the guy knew that skin to skin contact was going to do it. Hey okay, boy! likes being controlled. I think he might have anger issues as well after what happened to him. I mean, I'm, I don't blame him. Once you're experimented on by the Nazis, then you're experimented on by your own people. Fuckers everywhere. Gotta watch my step. Which to me makes it even more amazing that he's had kids. But as I've said before, are they his kids? Or... Are they, in fact, kids that he has acquired because he recognises them with his power? Shit, not good. Not good. Hope it fucking hurt. play at the end of this sequence, so I'm not going to cut it halfway through. Um, and we'll see how long the episode is after that. I want to try and keep them to half hour, but as long as they don't go for an hour. I'm quite happy.
again. Subtlety. I just smashed my way through this guy's mind. As we rearrange this, see this is why I think they become vegetative. Where are you, you four-legged fuck? As, as we rearrange these bits of people's minds and just smash our way through however we want, that's doing a lot of damage. I don't think the final thing that he does to them is what ends in the trauma. I genuinely think it's just the fact that he hacks through their brain link. <laughs> Can't get me up here, can you? Will you stop being cocky? You're right where I want it. Time to put you out of your misery. And stay the fuck down! Sure, I'm not missing any notes, any story, segments, any bits and pieces. Doesn't look like it though. evil characters by showing you the scar trauma in their past. That never excuses it. Understandable that they grew up the way they did, but their actions, you know, they have a choice. Why don't you say goodbye to him? I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I've work on my mind. I see. And again, maybe I should. Do you think I should? Whatever you wish, dear. Yeah, whatever you wish, dear. I get the feeling that he's very much like with his like his family. Like it's like uh, I can get my words straight. I am pretty sure that he is the same way with his family as he is with everyone else. Very blunt, very direct, very blood up his arse. Okay. Simon, where are you, boy? Daddy has to go to work. Once I get back, we can go fishing. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't like it when you go. I know. But sometimes Daddy needs to work. It's good for all of us. You understand, don't you? Pain sequence, you know, the dream sequence where you're stuck on the um, the blood trails. Uh, that was a good that the only frustrating part of the max pain bit was you could fall off so easily. Luckily, this is a nice white platform, you're not going to be taking any tumbles. Uh huh.
you know what, that's about 30 minutes. I am, I do want to keep the videos to 30 minutes, they upload so much quicker, so you know what, I am going to call time here. Um, thoroughly enjoyed this sequence. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this sequence. Um, I really enjoyed the, the extra bits we found out about Henry, again, a really scarred character. Um, Thomas, once again, just bludgeoning his way through someone's brain to get to what he wants. Which is very, uh, very upsetting. Suppose he has to do what he does, though. And I'm looking forward to finding out some more about, you know, what happens in the aftermath. While this is happening, remember, um, in the instant this is happening, that house is on fire, so I know this sequence isn't taking place to the same time as real time. This is as long as it takes Thomas to think that he wants Henry's brain to turn to mush, but, but I still can't shake that sense of, you know, we need to get out of here, people burning the house, we got to get out. So yeah, I don't think this will last much longer, but I do want to keep the, the length of it down. And if there's a story-based cutscene that comes after this, I can't do anything about that um, in terms of keeping the episode short. So, with that said, we'll drop here. We'll pick up um, from this point in the next episode. Thanks again for joining me for this. Um, the usual, leave a like, leave a subscribe. Try that again. Leave a like, leave a comment, and if you're inclined, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to play the medium through to the end, and then we'll see where the channel takes us after that. But I'm genuinely enjoying this game, so thank you very much for uh, being here at the start of my journey, and I will see you in the next episode of the medium. Take care, and bye for now.